Hey everybody, um, yeah, it's me again, coming back with yet another progress report. Uh, another long day of hacking, just doing some thinking and uh, pushing some things together. I've decided to jump the gun a little bit even though the main emulation isn't complete again and started coding support for another system just to see what it would be like so I can, you know, think ahead and try to get some things in order so I figure so I can figure out what to do. Now I know pretty much what I need to do to be able to support another system inside Linux MCE. Uh, it's just going to be some really nasty hacks to do things like set the appropriate menu items and, you know, set the appropriate things for orbiter placement and whatnot. Uh, it's going to be interesting to say the least, but uh, I'm going to have to try some things. But in the meantime, I've actually got preliminary support going for the uh, Atari 800 emulator. Now, um, why the simulator? Well, uh, it was one of the computers I grew up with. Um, it was the first one I really learned to play games on. Uh, so it's kind of special for me. So um, basically I'm going to take you through and show you uh, two running games, uh, Ball Blazer and Star Raiders, and show you that basically everything is running. Now, um, I pretty much use Mess for right now. Uh, for the emulator core for the 5200 stuff and um, why? Because it behaves really well uh, in the way that Linux MCE expects Windows to be. Uh, I tried Atari 800, I tried Atari++, didn't work so well. Uh, I'm going to try some other alternatives as well to try and see if I can get any of those other emulators to work because Hardware support in those, hardware accuracy in those is typically a bit better, but in everything that I've tried thus far, mess seems to be good enough. Uh, anyway, so without any further ado, let's uh, show off some stuff here. Okay, so now I've got Linux MCE basically doing its little thing here, showing off the screensaver, and I'm going to go ahead and um, just basically show off. Uh, gonna go into my orbiter here. And I'm gonna go into games like last time. And I'm gonna go into games. And I'm gonna go to a specific page right now. Since this game is not in my database, uh, it's currently got, uh, so it's basically saying no matching ROM for Star Raiders or Ball Blazer, so I basically have to look in the ends to find it right now, at least until I get some metadata in place. So, in the meantime, let's uh, take a look here. I'm going to take a look and thumb through some stuff. Okay. Come on. My orbiter seems to be misbehaving a little bit. Okay. Give me a second to actually get to the right place. I'm going to go to O real quick. Well, I'm going to use the TV to do it now because my orbiter is acting a little funny today. So I go to my media, go to games. I've got my games up here and you'll notice that the intended effect is basically to have all your games in one place and once I get Orbiter Gen uh, committed and with the latest builds you'll be able to filter appropriately as well so you'll be able to select a game system like Atari 800, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, whatever to filter your games down effectively but for right now I'm just going to go straight through the alphabetical and find my game here. There we go. Oop, sorry. Off. It's kind of interesting trying to... Uh, 
Okay, so we've got our two ROMs here. I'm going to Ball Blazer first. As you can see, <laughs> one of the unintended consequences here, my gyro remote is controlling the analog control on this display. I need to still need to do all the key press bindings and stuff so that it uh, will work appropriately on the left hand side and everything but as you can see it's functioning and like with all our other game emulation modes I can go into monitor mode and lo and behold on my orbiter <laughs> there she is <laughs> cool huh Bitchy. and as you can see it actually is moving forward with my key presses here <laughs> Okay, and one more game I gotta show, just to show it, because Matthew has re requested it. So, one moment, I'll go find it. And finally, just for you, Matthew, Star Raiders, in Linux MCE. <laughs> complete with the star field and uh, yeah so there we go click on monitor mode turn on monitor mode I'll go ahead start the game a bit and as you can see I actually need to, uh, looks like I need to set a few things. Still need to get the controls right, but as you can see, Star Raiders and Linux MCE, not only here, aw, oh, darn it, apparently we broke something for monitor mode in here, which I need to fix. Okay, so monitor mode still has some bugs in it. But as you can see... Oh wait, is it on? It's act is, it, is it actually on? Yeah. View. Monitor mode active. Well, looks like I just need to fix some things here. No big deal. Anyway, so here you go. I'm going to leave you guys now. And until next time, this is uh, Tom the Mame Hacker signing off.